We have gathered all the forces we can. The Darkspawn Horde is sure to reach the capital before us. And so we must race to Denerim as quickly as we can. The lives of many thousands hang in the balance. We must not forsake them. You have gathered an army to replace the one lost at Ostagar, Grey Warden. Let us pray that it will be enough. Before us stands the might of the Darkspawn Horde. Gaze upon them now, but fear them not! This woman beside me is a native of Ferelden, risen to the ranks of the Grey Wardens. She is proof that glory is within reach of us all. She has survived despite the odds, and without her, none of us would be here. Today, we save Denerim! The death of my husband, your King Caelan! But most of all, today we show the Grey Wardens that we remember and honor their sacrifice! For Ferelden! For the Grey Wardens! We stand on the precipice before the greatest battle of our age. I wonder if the heroes of old ever felt like this. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving.
not afraid. We go to fight for a good cause, and there is nowhere else I would rather be. must be stopped now. Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn, but should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel that a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, and that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight. And from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and told me of what I was meant to do. 
This does not surprise you, does it? Is this really what you want me to do? Are you sure? So this is it, then. All that we've been through has led up to this. Whatever happens now, to either of us, know that I am proud, infinitely proud, to have called you friend. You have carried us this far. I do not doubt that. I did not know what it meant to have a friend once, but you I would gladly consider such. Go, slay your archdemon. With the Archdemon dead, the Darkspawn Horde quickly crumbled. Most fled back into the deep roads. But the Blight had been ended before it had truly begun. The Grey Wardens stood redeemed, and a new age had begun. Ferelden had been saved, and the entire kingdom rose up to joyously greet its queen. My friends, we are gathered to celebrate those responsible for our victory. Of those who stood against the Darkspawn Siege of Denerim, there is one in particular who deserves commendation. Live gloriously, my friend. 